Namaste. One of the uh, one of the themes that has been showing itself in the last couple of weeks over and over again in my own life and in the life of uh, students and clients and friends has been the theme of patience. It's been the theme of ripening and maturing. And one of my favorite poets and philosophers and life guides is a man named David White, is W-H-Y-T-E, David White, who's an Irish poet and uh, philosopher. And he writes beautifully and speaks beautifully about um, harvesting at the right time and letting things ripen and seasons of life. And he has two poems, uh, one poem and one essay. The poem that I love is called Winter Apple. So I, I recommend look up Winter Apple by David White. And the, uh, the essay is Hiding, H-I-D-I-N-G, uh, Hiding. And he writes this beautiful essay about the value and the necessity of, of hiding and the value of letting a fruit ripen on the tree, uh, letting it sit on the branch past the time that you, that you initially want to want to pick it. And so it's just been a beautiful conversation over the last couple of weeks with myself and with others around the patience, the a willingness to let our own expression, to let our gift, to let that which is, which is wanting to come forward, to let it ripen. And we live in, a, in, a, in an age where there's so much comparison and rapid movement. And, you know, here on Facebook and social media, we see we have access to see a lot of friends and, and acquaintances who are um, harvesting their gifts and offering different aspects of themselves. And some perhaps a bit early, uh, maybe their fruit hasn't fully ripened and others when it is, has been fully ripened. But to, to feel like I need to harvest that which is ripening within me simply because my neighbor is harvesting their crop I don't know when they planted their crop. I don't know how long it's been maturing. Maybe it's a different crop. Maybe they, they're, they're harvesting, you know, pomegranates and I'm growing apples and it requires a different time of picking. So the invitation is for us to learn how to listen deeply into our own expression our own voice, our own offering, and really feel into, has it reached a, a maturity yet? Like a, like a cheese that's being aged beautifully. You wait, you don't, you know, you got a 25 year cheese that's, that's maturing. You don't, you know, harvest it. You don't start to distribute it and put it out to the world when it's only 10 years old. Wines, a good wine takes a while to mature. The other analogy is that uh, some plants bloom once in a lifetime. Others bloom multiple times in a year. Some bloom every five years. Some bloom when the conditions are only just right. And to allow our own uniqueness, our own truth, our own pure essence that is unique to us to have its time to express itself in the right way at the right time is an art. It's a patience. It's a, it's a self-love. Um, I remember writing to my brother uh, five years ago, maybe, maybe a little bit less, about how I was working on an online program and I was excited about it and it didn't come to fruition at the time. And I'm now working on that again and it feels ripe now. It feels mature. It feels like the richness, like the, the fruit has been on the vine or on the branch long enough to let the flavor really 
uh, sink in, let the sugars mature, let the, the taste really come to fruition. Um, and, I, and I remember feeling some shame. Uh, I saw my brother recently and I remember in thinking about he was going to come visit, there would be this question of why didn't that online program that I talked about four or five years ago, like where is it? And the answer came beautifully within of not having any real shame or embarrassment about that and just recognizing I was over anxious. I, I wanted to, to harvest something really before it was ready to be harvested. So, you know, let's not compare ourselves to others around us who might be harvesting their gifts and, and, and bringing them to the world. They're maybe growing a different crop. Maybe it's, uh, there was another analogy that came, uh, Leonard Cohen, beautiful singer-songwriter, writes such beautiful, beautiful music and songs. He would take, you know, year or years to write a single song. You know, somebody else who's maybe, that's not their thing. They're, they're, they write pop songs. They crank them out on a regular basis and they, there's an audience that likes that. Just be aware of, of what is your song? What is your harvest? What is your, what is maturing within you? And for some, it will take years. For others, they're, they're cranking out, you know, other material that is maybe doesn't need to ripen quite as long. So let's not compare ourselves to our neighbors who maybe planted their crops years before we did and are harvesting today because it's been maturing for a long time. And maybe ours are, are just at the very edge of ripening. And yeah, I could pick that apple now and it would taste okay. Or I can let it ripen on the branch for another couple of months and let the winter's cold seep into the apple and really mature those sugars. That's, that's the beautiful poem by David White when he talks about the winter apple. L let it sit on the tree a bit longer than you normally would. So patience. Patience with our own maturing, of our own awakening, of, of our own enlivening. We're all a different fruit. We're all a different plant. We're all a different being and some bloom rapidly many times a year and others wait and the, bl the blossom takes longer to mature and come into full maturity. Namaste. Blessings. So much love. If you like this video and you'd like to see similar content, please subscribe to my channel as well. Click that like button down below and that's going to make this video more available for more people. And visit me on my website, chessedwards.com. There's a link for that down below. There you are going to find valuable resources for living a conscious, powerful, and peaceful life. As well, you're going to find information there about how to work with me one-on-one -on -one, or how you can build your own custom private immersion retreat, a three-day retreat with me here in Sedona. As well, there's information about upcoming group retreats, virtual retreats, and so much more. I hope to see you there, and I've got a few free gifts for you as well. Thanks for watching.